Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Oh. So on today's episode of Top Speed Testing All of the Vehicles in BMG, um, I'm going to be trying the Gavel Barstow this time. I got recommended it in the last video. This was as per your recommendation. Uh, here's the comment asking me to do it. So if you have any recommendations of which cars to try, do uh, give me a shout in the comments. Editor Andy here. I thought the comment had originally said 500 kilometers an hour, which is 310 miles an hour, but he actually said 450, which is 279 miles an hour. So that explains some of what I say, thinking I'm so far off the speed or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's all. Uh, obviously, I might be waiting for some vehicles uh, that are getting a remaster in the future. Also, it's worth noting a little disclaimer, I may not get the absolute perfect setup. There is all sorts of different things you can do. This, the way the way you do this stuff in BMG is so complicated. And uh, you also need to remember I've got time constraints when it comes to recording videos because I need to get them out at some stage. So with the uh, excuses out of the way, let's get into making this unbelievably quick. Editor Andy here again, just to announce that I'm going to be streaming retro games on my PS2 every weekend, so if you're interested in that, do subscribe. Okay, so this is our first version here, and I have to say it looks really cool. Um, I haven't adjusted the gears yet, so I just want to see how the engine holds up in terms of cooling and stuff like that. I have to say, this is probably the one I'm most pleased with its appearance out of all the ones we've done so far. Struggle for speed, in terms of temperatures and stuff, it's happy. I drag front wheels on it just to reduce the rolling resistance, and then I've uh, just the gear ratios by quite a lot. And the, it actually flipping goes through nitrous, it, it's a famine, so it's uh, gonna only engage that in like fifth or sixth gear. No over torque risk, which is a very important thing because it means you can just up the power as far as it can. Oh man, it sounds so cool. Okay, I've adjusted something I never noticed on all the other runs is the uh, the toe. So the toe is only very slight on the front, but it will reduce the rolling resistance. Ooh. I like how the game still steers the carry even when it's on its roof. I'm gonna do that exact same again, just gonna drive it a little bit differently. Okay, massive cooling problems. That's 270. So I'm going to make the gears all way close together because as we can see with the nitrous it will actually fly through the gears but I need to get it as close to where I want it. I'm going to make a special version of that truck soon so that way I don't need to modify this. Because every time I spawn that I have to put the automatic gearbox in it because if I put the manual in it the truck will keep falling back from the car and it starts slamming into the back of it. And for some cars that will make it spin out of control. I forgot, it only comes in in second gear. Surely. Yeah, there we go. It's wheel spinning way too much. Oh. oh, that's a right pain in the ass. Oh yeah, look at that. Because they're a larger radius, it means the car is actually up a gear. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh. Oh, what's going on here? I don't understand why it's doing this now.
don't oh. I hope that's not bent with the chassis now. So far so good. Engine's happy, temperature's happy. Oh dude, come on. Oh, it's pulling the other way. Yep, we're good. If he doesn't come flying back across the front of me. There we go. Boom. T17. Alright, the gears are a little long. No, I'm not really much more successful there. Dude, I don't know if I'm actually going to get this. I felt like I was close. But, it turns out this is actually a lot more uh, difficult than I thought. I don't know, if there's something I'm forgetting. I mean, surely this thing produces more than whatever it is, 600 horsepower. I mean, what does it say there? Okay, it says peak probably around 700. Oh! I saw a thousand. I don't know what I'm missing. Something, I'm missing something. So let's go back through the engine parts again. I, uh, there's something in there. I suppose the block. The block isn't struggling. There's no overtorque for us, so I don't see why I can't just go. Oops, that's not right. I can't just go. Stage 3 performance line back. We'll give this a go. Okay, kamikaze move. Oh! Okay, so we'll get an over torque with the nitrous. But we're getting somewhere. Because this can definitely produce way more power than the previous iteration. If I just adjust it right. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the close gearing have the thing pushed just go easy on the engine temperature. Okay, the engine's holding up okay. Temperature is looking good. So maybe back to the drawing board. Okay, so we're at around where we were at with the other engine. I definitely think there's more to give here. So what I need to have happen is the, the car to be able to go through the gears all the way to 6th fast enough before the engine uh, cooks itself. It's taken a long time to change gear because it allows the engine temperatures to drop way down. Oh, dude. Hmm. It's a tricky one, really, because I kind of got to reduce the RPMs would mean making the gears a little bit shorter. See, I think it produces more power at the higher rev ranges, but the engine's happier to sit at the lower rev ranges, so I think I'm gonna have to reduce this RPM by quite a decent amount. 272 is the best I got, that was with the other block. I think I'm gonna call the video, but I am gonna return to quite a lot of these cars to do them again in the future, so we'll let this thing Rev its final revs. And come to a stop. Ooh. Click here to watch me do the same as this, but with the Abishu Kovat. Subscribe because I'll be doing more of these. And most of you guys aren't. And this is another video YouTube thinks you'll like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out on the track.